doctor, what's your what are your thoughts on on, on conventional cancer treatments? And we talked a little bit about chemotherapy, uh, radiation, surgery. You, you've uh, already said that chemo doesn't work as much as most people might think. It's overused, uh, most definitely. Chemo, radiation, and surgery have their merits. Mm -hmm. uh, ask Lance Armstrong, who was cured of advanced testicular cancer using chemotherapy, and he has now raised almost a half billion dollars for cancer research. Wonderful. I think he's not only a phenomenal athlete, but a great humanitarian. However, as I said, um, chemotherapy only works in about 3% of all cancers, mostly childhood leukemias, some lymphomas, and testicular cancer. But it's used in so many other cancers where it's ineffective and in many cases counterproductive. Mm -hmm. I've seen many patients who come to me with uh, neuropathy, uh, painful tingling numbness in their extremities. The hands and feet are so painful sometimes that they need narcotics to subdue the pain from the chemotherapy that never could kill the cancer in the first place. So the side effects are much worse than the possible benefits from that. Um, so chemo, radiation, and surgery have their place. For instance, IMRT, Intensity Modulated Radiation Therapy, is a rifle rather than a hand grenade. If a patient had cancer with metastasis to the spine, you can use this IMRT to target specific areas of the spine to reduce that tumor so that they don't have such pressure in the spine and you can get some relief. That's a wonderful tool. However, using regional radiation on the chest because someone has breast cancer is barbaric. You're going to cause more harm than good. Surgery. Uh, sometimes surgery can be good if you can remove an encapsulated tumor. Sometimes cutting the tumor in half and bringing some of it in for a surgical biopsy spreads the cancer. So we need to use those tools with restraint.